Hi everyone, Dan Johnson here in the main aircraft display area again and today I've come by this booth to look at this airplane. Now you've seen Merlin before but what you may not be aware of is all the changes that are going on relative to that engine in the front of it. The Aeromarine V-twin engine, as you see there in the signage, it produces 60 horsepower, fuel injected, electronic ignition, and look how compact this engine is. One of the things that's interesting about this is, Chip says this engine weighs very close to the uh, Rotax 582 that he once used in this aircraft, and which you won't be able to get anymore. So. I'm thinking this engine has got quite a future for it. Uh, not only in this aircraft, of course, which is selling quite well, I'm pleased to report, but for other aircraft that have a 582, want a new engine and can't get one anymore. Let's have, go around here and have a look at this engine from the other side. And I want to point out these fuel lines to you. You see these bright, colorful hoses it's got on it. There's a few things to know about those hoses. They are molded hoses. And you notice there's no key fittings or hose clamps. There's nothing really holding those things together. Of course, they will be fixed in position up here and where they actually connect. There'll be hose clamps on them. Uh, but you notice that, uh, for example, down here in this junction here, there's, uh, there's nothing needed to connect those hose elements together. I hadn't heard of molded hoses before, but Chip has found these things and is making good use of them. You notice the red and green colors there. That's because there are two fuel pumps on this aircraft, just for redundancy. Now, the engines. These things are made in the volumes of 10,000 a month. So the airplane use of this engine is a modest thing. Chip has done a lot of customization of this. For example, up here you can see this, this whole uh, uh, oil element right here. This is this extra piece they have built for them. And there are various other component parts to this. Uh, that he has added to it. The belt drive uh, is also another element that he adds to the engine, the basic engine block that he buys. And so when it's all done, and all, another thing that you can see down here is the uh, radiator. That's another custom item that he's adding to what is an engine not originally made for aviation, but which is, I think, going to work out quite well. And again, that lightness and twin cylinder, four stroke operation, that's what a lot of people are looking for in some other projects. So now let's go have a look at a couple of other things that Chip has done here. I'm just going to show you a sign because the project is not complete yet. But I want to show you something that I think is pretty interesting here. So I'll just stand by and tell you about it. It is the, this is a project underway, but notice that it's got floats on it. And this is a 103 aircraft that can use uh, longer wings and qualify as a motor glider. Now, motor glider is one of those special places in aviation relative to medicals that has perhaps the best privilege in the game. It doesn't matter, Chip says, if you have been denied, which is that's a big problem. Most of you are already aware of that, but if you've been denied, you don't get an any kind of a medical and then you can't use even driver's license medical. So a lot of folks are aware of that. Here's one way you can get around that problem. I think that's pretty cool. So we have to continue walking all around Chip's display here because he keeps pulling more things out of his back pocket or wherever. But he went over and picked up a couple of circuit boards that he had. Now circuit boards are a pretty weird thing to even look at, I get it. But you have to consider that what this is, is a very simplified method for someone to install the avionics on their airplane. That's a big job. If you haven't tackled that job, there's a lot of people that go, oh, okay, that's more than I can do. And why companies like Aircraft Spruce will do your whole panel for you, for a fee, of course. Chip is making a way for you to do it here much more easily. So here's all your components. This is what you'd see inside the airplane, the switches, the circuit breakers. You don't see the board, of course. Uh, and it, it, these boards are labeled, by the way. These are Bur Merlin boards, and he's having these made up. But all you have to do, all, there's all kinds of labeling on here. You probably can't see all those labels, but they're all labeled. All you've got to do is take the other end of the wire that has that same label on it, plug it in, and that particular thing is done. And mounting it in the panel looks equally easy. So if that looks like a daunting amount of work to you, here's a possible solution for it. So lots of things here from LSA Aero Marine, and this fella is one of the most active developers in our space, and we're really pleased that Chip continues to pull all these new ideas out of his hat, and they are coming to market. 
It's been a while in development now. I know some of you have been waiting for the Merlin, but they are underway now, and new ideas are emerging about how they are going to build these aircraft. And I think in the next few months, you're going to see a lot more of these things flying. Thanks so much for joining me here in the main aircraft display area at the Aero Marine LSA booth. And what, looking at the Merlin and the V-Twin and all the other things that he's got, we're going to find more stuff, but I'm glad you came along today. I'm Dan Johnson reporting from Oshkosh 2022 in the, north, in the main aircraft display area. Thanks for coming along.